Sean, it is cold and rainy here in Boston, but that is not stopping people from smiling today. Take a look at the finish line here on Boylston Street. Many spectators are here and the volunteers are ready, many of which are from New Hampshire. Now, volunteers arrived here in Boston early this morning, all working to prep for the 30,000 runners expected to cross the finish line today. The weather is certainly going to have an impact on this event today. Volunteers will be ready at the finish line to greet everyone with supplies and a smile. They've gone through so much and they've used all their energy and just to have personal strangers come up and just ask for a simple hug, not even the blanket, they just want a hug and it's just, just to help them out that way is just an honor. And all these people have trained and worked so hard for just one day that this is the least I could do. We're all runners and we take from races a lot so now it's our chance to give back and what better race than Boston? And this is certainly a special year, Sean. It has been five years since the marathon bombing in 2013 for some volunteers from the Granite State. Being able to be here to help the runners as they finish means even more. Last year, and it was important for me to volunteer last year because I was here in 2013. So to feel comfortable to be able to support all the runners finishing, it's just, it feels good. Yeah, it is certainly an emotional day for many, but the finish line here in Boylston is starting to come alive. We are anxiously awaiting so many runners from New Hampshire. We'll bring you some of those stories coming up tonight at 5 and 6 o'clock. For now, we are live in Boston. Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.